Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's first time around for these two countries in the group stage here at the 2023 World Cup. It's Italy versus Argentina. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the Italy starting 11. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. And so the battle commences. Cecilia Salvai Linari Giuliano Onto Girelli And an astute piece of defending and The pass could do damage Real chance It's goalkeeping of the highest class. Well, that should be a goal, really, but what a wonderful save that was. Brilliant from the goalkeeper. She's just saved her team there. Let's see about the delivery. They keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Real chance. Well, really, making the goalkeeper's life simple. That should be hit in the back of the net. That was a big, big chance. Played over. Not away completely. A gift for any goalkeeper. Bonansea. Real chance. Surely. And it's in. 1 0. They breach the defence. Well, let's see this again. This is counter attacking football at its very best. But really, the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily. 
Great team goal, but woeful defending. One nil then. Girelli. Magnificent defending. A move of promise on the flank. Nicely cut out. Cristiana Girelli. A chance maybe from the wide position. Electing to cross into the centre. Well, at one point on its flight, I wondered if the keeper would have difficulties, but no problems in the end. Now, can they create something? Well kept out. And there's the delivery. And the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. Simple catch, really. Well, Argentina are enjoying most of the possession, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. An incisive pass. Well, sadly, she's got that one horribly wrong. And if she had her chance again, I think she'd probably hit through the back of the ball rather than trying to chip it. That's a wasted opportunity. And it's played into the centre. Making sure nothing untoward happened. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. And given away. Could be. No way through. That is that for the first half here. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Oh, she's given it away. And space to cross it. The inside route looking promising and quite simply wide of the target. Pressed hard. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing. Oh, big chance! There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. goal. 
So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Lovely ball over the top. Oh, yes! Dispatching it with a plum. Wonderful goal. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And she just finds that bit of space in the box, which makes the header so much easier. It's a very good goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3 0. Vanessa Santana. A bit wasteful from Argentina. Ariana Caruso. And fed forwards. Taking care of business defensively here. Manuela Giuliano. A wonderful intervention. Rodriguez. Florencia Bonsegundo. And they need to get tighter here. Delivering it into the box. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, here it is again. And what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. And into the last 20 minutes. A real opening now. Well, that looked to be quite dangerous, but just a fraction off. So, making the substitution now. La Roquette. This looks more than decent. Smuggled away. And time for the change now. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, the danger is still there. And the decision is one of offside here. Lisa Boatin. And a good-looking ball. forward and the break looks on chances on oh couldn't beat the goalkeeper and really should have been able to and a fine tackle now potential danger not an attempt that will live long in the memory well what a waste that is it's far too easy for the keeper Went in strongly to win the ball. Well, 
Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Useful looking ball. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And what an easy finish it is in the end. Mind you, the market is so poor. She didn't even need to jump. She won't care about that, though. Oh, my goodness, it's so once. And there goes the final whistle. It's a victory for Italy. Stuarts, what have you made of their performance? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest.